This recording is going to talk about how to handle deep areas of interproximal decay and giving the patient a chance to maybe avoid either crown lengthening or uh, extraction. Uh, so here's the case, uh, tooth number four, patient came in, had this large area of decay. And as we all know, decay starts from the, um, from the enamel, it creates an opening, and then once it gets to the dentin layer, the DEJ, it then spreads out, and then it, as it continues, it goes towards the pulp. And so for this individual, we had to actually remove all this decay, and it went into the pulp, and of course we did a root canal. Uh, but the part on, on this video to stress is how do we handle this very delicate part of the um, you know, of the, of the tooth. So let me walk through this case and I'll just kind of show you a schematic at the end of, of kind of my thought press process going into this and how it actually worked out for the better on this patient because they did not need crown lengthening and they did not need to do an extraction. It was just a root canal and a crown. So here it is. Here's the decay after it's been removed. And I can kind of see I tilted the camera sideways and you can still see right here that is still some enamel, some demineralized enamel right there. And this is really dug out deep inside. You'll see a post-op x-ray here in a moment to show how deep it really went. But um, there's just kind of a closer view of it. Again, all the decay is gone. I went with the slow speed and really dug out everything that is decay is gone. However, when you get to this part of the tooth, this area be very delicate. Only go slightly with the, or go with very slight pressure with your slow speed so that you don't inadvertently or iatrogenically break off this piece of enamel which is still quite useful. So I got that whitish demineralized enamel out of the way and this is what we wound up with is basically all of this good solid enamel right here. All of this has been dug out deep inside where the pulp chamber was and of course it expanded out but I was able to keep this intact. When it was done got the root canal finished put a matrix band around it, filled it up, did my prep, and now you can see that is all enamel right there. You kind of maybe see from this angle here. Did not have to bury this margin on the crown very deep subjunctively. We were able to get a very predictable uh, impression, or I think maybe we did a scan on this one. And, um, and this is how it turned out at the end. Here is what the prep looked like. And let me go to this right here. That, that little triangle is enamel so now the crown is sitting on enamel and it's not having to be buried deep inside the tooth or underneath the gum line so again there it is there it is okay and so just kind of show a schematic of how that looks uh, if this would be the normal area of decay as we all know it starts interproximally works its way in and as soon as it hits this DEJ it spreads across the tooth and I went to demarcate where the demineralized but not decayed part of the enamel was, and that's right there. And so this is the order in which you would remove the decay. You get your initial entry here, that's step number one. Step number two is to get all this cleaned out. Obviously, if it went into the pulp, you clean that out too. And then lastly, third, you would come up right here and remove any uh, undermined or any kind of demineralized enamel, leaving just the healthy enamel behind. And so again, this is the sequence you'd go through. This is that little in cross section triangular piece of enamel that is, uh, I guess, to remain intact. So this turn, this case turned out really got nicely for the patient. And um, hopefully, when you're going in and doing your preps, deep interposmal decay, take it easy when you get to this part. Don't push it because if you pushed it too far, you can imagine you'd come out right about there. And we all know what's right there. You're subgingival and maybe even sitting on top of the bone. So keep this area intact. All right, take care.